everybody's like, you know why Zanesville, Ohio is on the map is because this animal, apparently this guy had a bunch of exotic animals. I'm talking about like 50 mm-hmm. Bengal tigers, all this kind of stuff. And this is 10 years ago. It's a cold case. Mm-hmm. And I shouldn't say it's a cold case. I think it's resolved. All right. So I, I start digging into this a little bit and I'm, I made an Instagram story about the yeah zanesville i guess you call it the animal he had a this guy had a bunch of animals basically right and one day they all got out Mm -hmm. and they said the guy was mentally ill uh he opened up the cages all the animals ran free not just regular animals exotic exotic lions tigers bears bears oh my grizzly bears black bears yeah uh chimpanzees Mm -hmm. there was a a cougar in there yeah i think there was there was all kind of i mean talk about 50 Mm -hmm. okay so I'm just basically t- talking about the story in general. And I talk about how many things do I talk about a week? Not on the podcast, just it, a lot of things. All day, every day. I just and I'm like, I was just I wasn't even really snooping around in the right. town. I just asked the a couple of police officers that were there. I go, "What happened?" And then I kind of talked about it. And dude, people from this town have come out of the absolute woodworks. Mhm to discuss this event. And it's apparently there's a lot of conspiracies behind it. Right. And again, I, do we have a dog in this fight? Um, I, don't I don't know, know. if I do. I don't know if I have enough info yet. To I don't know one. if I do. Is it, yeah. I don't know if I do. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of people that in this town are now, this case, I guess, has been brought back to life. Yeah. And there's been so, there's hundreds of comments on uh, the places where this video has been posted. Because mm-hmm. um, you took it to your Instagram story. I took it to my Instagram and story. And then we also talked about it on the podcast last week. Yeah. and So there's a lot of local news accounts yeah, that are, are, are now talking about this. Mm-hmm. And apparently there's a bunch of conspiracies around it that the man, Terry, mm-hmm. did not kill himself. Right. And there's no way he could have killed himself. Right. And this was is a conspiracy. I mean, I'm not... I'm not naming any names but there's so many people this goes we knew this guy there's no way this happened right there's no way this happened and this is not really off track of what a lot of this podcast is about is trying to fit is this real Mm -hmm. or is or getting getting to the truth of things i suppose yeah all the comments on this so read one specifically read two of, yeah. publications have picked this up Zane's viral and this looks like Y City <laughs> oh, so I wonder what else is going on in Zane's viral <laughs> yeah right what's going on in <laughs> Zane's viral they've uh, picked this up the and Panera is closed for the <laughs> afternoon cuz yeah what's going on in Zane's viral I would love to know <laughs> they uh the comment sections are flooded now with hundreds of comments of people saying and both of these accounts said hey apparently there's been a lot of traction on this what's going on a lot of chatter people, people are like oh this comedian which is a little disrespectful to me honestly what do you mean this comedian yeah what's that, was that about the, the central attraction in zanesville yeah. on saturday night thank you very much yeah. <laughs> uh apparently this comedian has been talking about it and uh i want i guess i wanted we move on from things pretty fast around here but mm-hmm. the, i couldn't i'll just read it yeah there's no way he killed himself a good man was murdered mm. I read his electric. I read his electric meter for ten plus years. I think because of his job. Yes. That by the way, not not, not as a hobby. Yeah, now you just read it. I guess yeah. I'll go read the meter yeah, again. I guess I go read his meter. What's he going on? I want to see those. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a job that'll get you uh, fired up. Mm. Reading the meters at the exotic pets. Yeah. Dude. Where is it? Oh, got unlatched that. There's two Bengal tigers. They're sleeping. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. We built them. We built the tiger pen around the meter. Yeah. So. Of course she did. <laughs> All right, there's no way he killed himself. A good man was murdered. I read his electric meter for 10 plus years. I had the pleasure of meeting Terry and talked with him on multiple occasions while working for AEP. I had to hike out in the middle of his field. Nice to read the meter. Field where Bengal tigers right. are. Uh, to read his, meet, uh, read his meter uh, monthly on a pole. He let me feed a few of his animals and I always got the impression that he loved his animals. Okay. Okay. Well. And if there's a bunch of the conspiracy is... Why did he have to cut the chains when he had the key to them? Yeah, the because ch- the story goes, he let all the animals out yeah. and then committed suicide. Yeah. But they're showing there's evidence that the chains were cut with like massive. Why? L- yeah, he has the keys to the animals. Ter- uh, these are this is all public, so I can read these. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, Tamara Elizabeth, top fan of mine, by the way. Nice. <laughs> 
she has the thing. No, she's right? a top fan of Y City News. Okay, not mine. Okay, this is not mine. Yeah, top, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, she knows. Yes, yeah, she knows. She's a top fan of. Well, she knows Janesville. Mm-hmm. She's a top fan. She's a trusted source. Yes. Why? Well, uh, although she's a first and middle name on Facebook, which right. <sighs> mm-hmm. That's like when the guy says the moon landing's not real. It's like, well, why are you in front of a trailer and you're going to look for Area 51 in New Mexico? Why can't you be? Uh-huh. Uh, she says, why would he cut the locks to the cages he had the keys to? Mm. Terry didn't do it. Can't change my mind. Mm. And there's so many people that have commented that. I mean, hundreds of comments. Yes. I, I, dude, there's more here. Like, there's, I just... I, that, yeah. I... I Obviously, I There's do like so some much conspiracy stuff. Yeah, so, so like, I'm, I'm biased, it's but fun also to go down like, this road. The, yeah. I mean, just looking at it, man. I, I the lock thing to me is a smoking gun. You gotta, you gotta investigate. Gotta investigate. All right. So, so there's there, obviously if you were living in Zanesville and this guy has 57 Bengal tigers, mm-hmm. you, you you can't let that continue. Mm-hmm. And apparently, it looks like. Katie Dobbins, Terry definitely did not do any of that. Mm-hmm. And they said, they said, uh, oh, there, John Chris is a comedian and has a show at the Secret Star Auditorium <laughs> on Saturday. He looked up the history of Zanesville and found the articles on the information. He talked about it on his Instagram and asked for more information about the events. <laughs> Some guy on Instagram with a million followers named John Christ. That's disrespectful, dude. <laughs> Some guy and then butchered the name. Whoa, talk about his on his Instagram. Brandon Davis, I've lived there since 70, but my coworkers say, girl, the town you're is from is in the news. It's not good. That's true. Wow. I didn't see a TikTok about it. Just let it go. If you know, you know. Christy. Hey, we need to know. What I don't want to. Okay. And there's there's multiple outlets that have discussed that this is not this is not go down the way. And then a lot of people have said, well, it's over. No attention. Nobody cares about this anymore. I mean, right. Yeah, sure, and I'm saying weird, but on the net, net we're here. On the on the it, it, it was a positive. But it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive. <laughs>